The world has just started getting access to 5G services globally, but one country is already ahead of the rest and racing for 6G. China has just tested its first ever 6G network, which promises to be faster and more efficient than its previous counterpart. It has the potential to change how fast data and information can be transmitted or received from various parts of the world. As the next generation of wireless communication, 6G promises to be quicker, smarter, and more efficient than 5G. And being the technological hub of the world, China is rushing to develop this technology. Claiming to be at the forefront of 6G R&D, the Asian nation plans to commercialize the technology by 2030 and provide early 6G apps by 2025. Chinese scientists have made a major leap in their field by testing a new optical switching gadget in space. The tested equipment is an essential part of the expansion of satellite internet, and this milestone event pulls China closer to the 6G network's potential. Researchers from China's Zan Institute of Optics and Precision Mechanics formally verified the technology's success. When installed in a modern spaceship, an optical switching device acts like a high-tech mirror, transmitting light pulses from one place to another without converting them into electrical signals. With a focus on improving the speed, flexibility, and capacity of information transmission, these committed scientists have spent over a decade perfecting this groundbreaking technology. And in August, the spaceborne optical switching device was launched into orbit aboard China's Y7 carrier rocket, marking the first ever test for China. Photographic data was downloaded and used on the ground with no corruption, demonstrating the innovative promise of this technology. This newly tested device eliminates the need for traditional intermediaries in communication networks and greatly increases the capacity and speed of data exchange. According to one scientist, the optical approach can improve the capacity and speed of data interchange, in contrast to the conventional photoelectron photon method, which has an electronic bottleneck impact. The telecommunications sector is hopeful about this innovative technology since it can potentially lower the price of building specialized switching facilities. Spaceborne optical switching technology is a form of satellite based communication that allows for the direct transmission of light signals rather than their conversion to electrical signals. With this technique, data transmission could become much more efficient and rapid than before. Electrical switching, used by conventional communications networks, has to transform light signals into electrical signals, then route these signals, and finally convert them back to light signals, which is a very lengthy process. The data transfer is interrupted, delayed, or lost as a result of this process. Instead of converting the light signals before sending them on their way, spaceborne optical switching technology uses a mirror-like device to reflect them directly to their destination, much faster than electrical switching, minimizing the delays. China's 6G satellite was the first to use this kind of technology. The satellite was also equipped to detect crop disasters and avert forest fires. With plans to commercialize 6G by 2030 and deploy early 6G applications by 2025, China asserts its position Position as a global leader in 6G research and development. The Chinese government is planning to launch 6G networks, which would affect its economy, national security, and worldwide popularity. Not only that, but the US, Japan, South Korea, and the EU are also involved in 6G projects and endeavors. With the potential to revolutionize data transfer and communication in the future, the 6G race is picking up steam, and China is on the front lines. The most crucial technology for 6G's success is terahertz communication technology. The terahertz band encompasses frequencies ranging from 100 gigahertz all the way up to 10 terahertz, in contrast to the lower bands used by conventional wireless communication. These bands also offer a few distinct benefits. For instance, terahertz waves have the potential to attain data transmission speeds that are significantly higher than what 5G is anticipated to be able to handle, simply because they can transport more data than lower frequency waves. In addition, unlike lower frequency waves, terahertz waves may pass through materials like cloth, paper, and plastic, opening the door to potential new wireless imaging and sensing technologies. 
On the other hand, there are a few obstacles to terahertz communications, including interference, security concerns, and excessive attenuation. To get over these problems, researchers in China are creating terahertz communication methods and gadgets that will make terahertz communication more secure and efficient. A lot of important technologies are being worked on, like terahertz channel modeling, front-end chip design, multi-beam antenna design, baseband signal processing, and resource management. Their goal in using these technologies is to make connections more reliable and boost the speed at which data can be sent for 6G and beyond. With this ultra-high-capacity wireless backhaul, immersive extended reality, high-definition holography, and other similar applications could be made possible through wireless terabit-per-second lines. Researchers in China are also putting a lot of effort into intelligent networking. Optimizing network performance and user experience is the goal of this technology, which employs artificial intelligence. 6G networks can adapt to many scenarios with the use of intelligent networking, including smart cities, smart homes, smart transportation, and smart healthcare. It can also aid 6G networks in managing traffic, allocating resources, and improving security. 6G networks can be enhanced using intelligent networking to make them more efficient, scalable, and flexible. China's 6G technological advancements may significantly alter the future of data transfer and communication. It may also cause nations to work together more closely or compete more fiercely, since China is not the only country pursuing 6G research and development. Several nations are collaborating on 6G projects and programs. The Minister of Industry and Information Technology of China, Jin Zhuanglong, has stated that China is currently the world leader in 6G research and development, and the country may have a leg up in 6G competition because it's already spreading out 5G mobile networks and apps. The Chinese economy might get a major boost from 6G technology. Additionally, it has the potential to assist China in preserving its status as a world leader in technology. New businesses, marketplaces, and employment opportunities could emerge with the advent of 6G technology, which could also boost the efficiency and output of current ones. It has the potential to improve people's lives and well-beings, encourage innovation and entrepreneurship, and more, not only in China, but the entire region. Both the international telecom scene and the dynamics of the Asian region stand to greatly benefit from the successful testing of China's optical switching technology in space. The development of this technology is having far-reaching effects on many different industries and nations in the area and around the world. This cutting-edge 6G technology can send light impulses directly instead of converting them to electrical ones, which should allow for faster and more efficient data transfers than ever before. This could completely transform satellite internet and other industries that rely on quick data transfer, such as mobile communication, remote sensing, and supercomputing. The third largest wireless network operator in China, China Unicom, has predicted that early 6G applications will be available by 2025, with a commercial launch of 6G beginning in 2030. This will boost China's position in the global economy, making the country more attractive to investors and top talent. China's leadership in enhancing regional connectivity would result in a more linked and rich Asian continent, which in turn could encourage innovation, improved economic growth, and international partnerships. Optical communication advancements can potentially impact neighboring nations, especially those in Southeast Asia, as many countries are looking to China for help with their digital infrastructure upgrades and connectivity problems. Through the development and implementation of optical communication systems, there is a possibility of stronger regional links and shared economic benefits through technology transfer partnerships. The role of China in determining Asia's technological agenda is becoming increasingly important, especially among nations aiming to update their digital infrastructure. This leadership shows possibilities for creating new coalitions. On the other hand, some worry that 6G technology would compromise user data security. Potential new dangers and difficulties brought about by 6G technology include cyber attacks, data breaches, invasions of privacy, and espionage. Power grids, transportation networks, and healthcare facilities are all examples of vital infrastructure that might become more reliant on and susceptible to disruptions due to 6G technology. To guarantee the safety of 6G networks, Chinese researchers are attempting 
to resolve these issues. Standards and regulations, together with mechanisms for authentication, verification and encryption, are being developed to safeguard 6G networks and their users. Global interest in China's 6G initiatives is high, as the country keeps pushing the technology's limits. 6G technology may bring about unprecedented advantages and opportunities, as well as brand new threats. It has the potential to alter the course of history on a global scale in the realms of communication and data transmission. What are your thoughts on China's 6G tech? Is it going to be a real game changer or just hype? Let me know in your comments below. And if you're interested in videos like this, don't forget to like and subscribe.